and Rockstar's wonderful track record of ruthlessly hunting down mods and modders only continues to get better. And by better, I mean absolutely worse. Now, if you guys haven't seen it, a couple days ago I put out a video basically saying that Rockstar has been under a little bit of flack for issuing a DMCA strike against one of the first developers behind the original Grand Theft Auto game. And for those of you that don't know, the original Grand Theft Auto was a top-down type game. It wasn't 3D, obviously it wasn't HD. It's completely different of a game of what we know as Grand Theft Auto today. And the videos that were taken down was nothing bad, alarming, or negative towards Rockstar or Take 2. It was basically just some prototype behind the scenes footage that would have been perfect for a documentary of how the original Grand Theft Auto came to be. It was how the developers created that game's world. Very short videos that provided a very small amount of insight. And frankly, in my eyes, is a very weird target for Rockstar to be going after considering the original Grand Theft Auto released all the way back in 1997. How that would threaten Rockstar or Grand Theft Auto or Take Two in any way, shape, or form in today's age, over 25 years later, who knows? And typically, whenever Rockstar is going after mods, modders, fan created projects people like to think that this happens around the time that rockstar is getting ready to announce something related to grand theft auto supposedly last year a lot of mods were being taken down right before rockstar announced the gta trilogy and because rockstar's back on their bullshit people are believing that an announcement for grand theft auto 6 is right around the corner and there's only been more fuel added to that flame since it's come to light that not only was mike daly that original grand theft auto developer that i was talking about being targeted by rockstar but also luke ross Luke Ross is not a developer himself, but a very well-known modder. He's known for VR mods, essentially. And he's recently been hit by a copyright strike for his mods to be taken down. Um, I guess he was working on a VR conversion mods for GTA 5 Red Dead Redemption 2. He has one out for Mafia 2's Definitive Edition as well. Or I should say did, because these copyright strikes essentially are demanding that he take down these VR mods, which personally, I don't look into mods all, all that much. I'm not that talented in messing around with game files and modifying the game's myself but seeing how talented other modders are if this guy was actually able to make Grand Theft Auto 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2 work full on in VR even if Rockstar wasn't working on some type of VR port themselves that would undoubtedly look embarrassing on their part being shown off by one guy billion dollar company they can't even compete with this guy and his sole passion for creating something unique and different now reading up on this news it sounds like it's still an ongoing process with hopefully Ross arguing it taking a direct quote from him he claims that he never misrepresented the games as his own personal creations he doesn't reuse any of the original software assets or ip in general and then the mods themselves need the original game in order to work and what i find interesting is that he claims that his mods actually push additional sales which makes sense you know mods that are that drastic and that insane that actually completely change your overall experience i'm sure would be more than enough to convince someone to invest in either a pc version of the game that they already own on a console that they absolutely love and just want to experience it in vr or in a completely different way or even expand and mess around with other games like that whether it be bully the manhunt games or a different entry in the grand theft auto series which on the flip side if that's actually true and he is influencing and helping push these level of sales then ultimately that means that Rockstar's taking a double hit here. Not only are they taking a little bit of a PR hit by going after these mods and modders, but they are potentially also taking a little bit of a financial hit since they are losing that additional source. Now I do hope that Luke Ross can fight this and hopefully these mods will stay up. Ultimately though, in reality, I don't think that he's going to be able to win. I'm rooting for him, although being a realist, I don't think it's going to happen. On the flip side, does this mean we're going to see an announcement for Grand Theft Auto 6 soon? No, I personally don't think so. But I'd love to hear what you guys think how do you feel towards these mods always being taken down what's your stance on it does it make you kind of hate rockstar a little more or do you feel more for the modders all that hard work and dedication completely being ripped out and you being forced to throw it ultimately in the trash do you think this is a sign of grand theft auto 6 being announced soon do you think this is a sign that rockstar is working on vr versions of their games <laughs> let's talk down in the comments section